Hi, I'm Antonia from Canterbury Nursery School in Bradford. I'm an early years practitioner here. It's natural for parents to feel anxious when settling their children into nursery, especially as it's often the first time they've ever left them with anyone other than family. Um, it's our role in the settings to provide um, emotional support to parents to get them ready for that step of leaving their children. Um, so through building up strong relationships with families, um, through home visits and settling in process, um, we can enable their children to settle and parents to feel confident leaving them at nursery. Yes, I was concerned at first because as we moved, when we moved here, we didn't know anybody and we didn't know much about the school. So I, as a parent, I was concerned because I didn't know what, what, where I was getting her into and what to expect. But then as I, as I went online and searched uh, search for the school, I read some good reviews about it and then I know that they, um, they had an outstanding rating from Ofsted. And also, I remember I, I placed a phone call to the nursery, and then the, the lady at the, at the reception was really nice. So I said, to her, oh, they, they seem really nice people, so let me go there and have a look and see. And then as they came in, they were really nice, like, in person as well. So, I mean, it made, it made me feel at home. If I felt like this is the place for my daughter. So that's why, that's when the anxiety eased off a bit. It was hard for me as a mother to be separated from my child and also not knowing um, well, whoever is going to look after her, whether she will be in a safe place, safe environment. So initially when I first had her, I wanted to stay home a bit and be, um, look after her till I decide what to do. And then I decided, in the end, I decided to let her start a nursery. So yeah, I was a bit concerned because, um, and it was because it was a big change for her as well because She's never been in a nursery, so it was hard for her to also, also adjust to something she's not used to. Um, the nursery was actually very helpful because, like I mentioned earlier on, when we moved here, we didn't know anybody. And so childcare was a bit of a um, struggle for me. Because um, I remember when I first, when I was filling out the form, it says like either afternoon session or um, morning session. And then I had a, a talk with them, and they were very helpful, and agreed to uh, to be flexible with me. So, and that that has really helped because I work nights, and by the time I get home, sometimes I need to have a little a little nap. And with that flexibility, it has helped me to go to work, knowing that oh, when I get home, I can take her to nursery where she's in a safe environment, and I can go home and rest. So, they've been very helpful. The best thing about it is the fact that she she learns a lot from here. Though as a parent, you'll be teaching them at home, but it's not the same as the the education they get here. So to me, it's very important to let um, to take advantage of the free education the government provides, so that you know it will help the the child uh, progress in life and prepare them for um, the main education. Um, yes, I would say that um, they should first um, research, do a lot of research online. Um, before they, they they take that bold step, because you need to you need to find out information about where, even if it's a child care uh, a child minder, you need to make sure you research about that child minder, read their reviews, and then you know um, see uh, how they are with other other kids. You can go in like go in for a visit and then talk to them and see how they are. And if it's a nursery, so you can go in and have a talk with the with the staff at the nursery and then. Yeah, so after that, and then you can also prepare, uh, you need to prepare your child for it because it's a big change for them as well. So once you prepare them for it, then I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah.